up everybody it's the goal 60 here for monday august the 5th 2019 so this weekend you know we closed out everything we had on friday and uh, we got to watch a little baseball over this weekend without having to worry about you know finishing up a series or anything like that so but today we get right back in it we've had a lot of series that are starting up today that were eligible to be plays we'll talk about what happened to those and how many plays we got right after this So today, all in all, we had 12 three-game series starting up. Now, we didn't get a ton of plays out of this simply because of RPI. The RPI is getting closer and closer, and as you'll see when I go through these, a lot of these got eliminated because they were within the 10-point parameter that we had to have. So, But first, we're going to talk about we had three potential revenge plays. Two of them didn't make it due to who we were betting on. Uh, both of them were in the bottom three betting against teams outside of it, including Baltimore, who's in the bottom three, trying to take on the Yankees, who are in the top three. So, therefore, those got eliminated. Now, the third one isn't unofficial. It is St. Louis and the Dodgers. The Cardinals are at .508. The Dodgers are in the top three at .542. You look at the price, and that's why it's unofficial. It's minus 168. It barely missed the range. And, um, you know... Two in a row that the Dodgers have had to be uh, revenge plays. Two series in a row here. And both times we've missed it by just a few, you know, cents. Nothing much there. Just a little bit outside of our range and therefore is unofficial. Now, as far as RPI goes, that left us with nine total plays or nine total series that could be potential plays. And out of those, five were eliminated by RPI. Washington, San Francisco, only a three-point difference. Texas and Cleveland, one point. Atlanta and Minnesota, three points. Oakland and Chicago, six points. And then Philly and Arizona, two points. So all those within the 10-point range, we need to be 10 or more. And we got had to eliminate those due to that. Now, we did pick up a, an official play here. And it is Milwaukee and Pittsburgh. Milwaukee's at .508. Pittsburgh at .487, so obviously we're above the range there. You look at the price, and Milwaukee's minus 140, so hopefully they can get things going again and get us a win in that series today. The other game that I think does have potential, but it's two bad teams, honestly, is the White Sox in Detroit. The uh, White Sox at .476, Detroit at in the bottom three at .440. We're waiting to see what this price is on the White Sox. If it is in the range, it will be an official play. If not, it have been unofficial. And that leads me to the final two, which did become unofficial plays. The first one being Toronto and Tampa Bay. Toronto at .466. Tampa Bay at .520. You look at the price here, and it's way too expensive, minus $250 on Tampa Bay, and that's why they are an unofficial. And then finally, we got Miami and the Mets. Miami is at .476, while the Mets are at .501. You look at the price here, and it's extremely expensive at minus 310 and therefore an unofficial play. So that's everything I've got today. I kind of ran through it. Like I said, only one official play so far, and it is Milwaukee. We're waiting to see what the White Sox line is. If it's in the range, it will be an official play also. But with that said, that's everything I've got. Have a great Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. In a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time.